And the Princess of Wales has been seen in public for the first time since her abdominal surgery in January, alongside her mother, Carol Middleton. Yes, this comes after it was claimed last night that uh, Catherine's black sheep uncle, Gary Goldsmith, was scolded after signing up to Celebrity Big Brother amid fears he could spill secrets about the royal family. And he's been speaking to the Sun newspaper as well. Well, joining us now to discuss all this royal news is royal correspondent, former royal correspondent for the BBC and writer Michael Cole. Uh, Michael, thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, can you explain the traditions in this country versus uh, countries with perhaps more renegade press like the United States? Although normally it's tended to be that the British tabloids are much more renegade than the American newspapers, but perhaps the website era is different. Why are the Americans publishing this photograph, but the Brits aren't? Good afternoon, Tom. Good afternoon, Emily. First thing to say is good to see the Princess of Wales out and about enjoying the spring sunshine yesterday. Um, I think collectively I should start by saying we wish her a speedy and a complete re recovery from her what was quite clearly major uh, abdominal surgery back on the 17th of, uh, of January. Um, and also it's worth saying that this photograph, which as you say isn't being published by British newspapers, uh, does at least do one thing. It scotches the rumours that have been swirling around about wherever she was and how, she, how unwell she was. And maybe, Emily, uh, I was talking to you, and there we see the princess in happier times okay. yesterday on this, on this very channel, and I said perhaps Kensington Palace ought to give us a little bit of guidance to actually... Uh, silence the rubbish that has been filling the vacuum, the news vacuum about about uh, the Princess of Wales. And maybe this was their subtle way of doing so. Uh, so maybe they're listening to GB News like everybody else. But to return to Tom's point, it's very, very simple. Uh, this country and the press used to be Wild West. We would publish anything uh, and we were just as adventurous as the Americans. In America, this photograph, which we don't know who took it, in Windsor Great Park, her sitting uh, next to her mother in a four by four, which was the same one, I believe, that uh, Prince William drove when he visited her at the London clinics. That's been put on a celebrity uh, website called TMZ. I think I gave it the American uh, pronunciation there for uh, emphasis. Uh, over here, not. And that is because uh, Charles Spencer, the late and much missed Diana, Princess of Wales's brother, Earl Spencer, stood in the pulpit at Westminster Abbey, and I was sitting within 10 yards of him, uh, and he spoke about Diana, the huntress of classical mythology, becoming Diana the hunted and hunted to her death in, in Paris on the night of 31st of August 1997. And the editors, and many of them were present, were taken aback by that. And there was a silent, uh, maybe secret agreement with them that they would never, ever again use paparazzi pictures. Now, I don't know whether this was a lucky member of the public or a paparazzo who was lurking in the bushes in, in Windsor Great Park. But the photograph is out there. Uh, it shows the princess with a pair of large dark glasses. She looks pretty well, for, as far as I could see, sitting in the front seat next to her mother. And she were, they were doing the school run. They were coming back from taking the children to school. And you know, Emily, I, I think uh, it's the children that has made uh, the princess reticent about her, her condition. Uh, Kensington Palace put out a statement uh, which said that they, they hoped or she hoped that the public would understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible and her wish that her personal medical information remains private. Perfectly reasonable. And I think what she didn't want is the children going to school and being in the playground and some kids saying, what's wrong with your mum? I hear she's got X, Y or Z. And I think she wanted to avoid that. Now, in the past, and we remember before the birth of King George, uh, she went into hospital with very, very severe morning sickness. And she's spoken about that since in the in the hope. And I'm quite sure the reality that it would help other people uh, suffering from the same condition, which is quite common 
but not as severe as she experienced it. So that is the division. I mean, in the past, the American press was very much more out there, uh, fewer controls. Uh, and, and in this country, the British press is lightly controlled. It's mainly self-policing, uh, but they have taken uh, the decision on a question of taste uh, and uh, Michael, they decide Michael, not to publish were you, were it. You yes, suggest, yes, were you suggesting that perhaps it might be they might be pleased that this uh, photo has appeared well, on this website we, so as to put to bed the idea that there's something more serious going wrong with the Princess of Wales? Well, 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 perhaps I'm being a little bit Machiavellian and you are too, but it wouldn't be beyond the dark arts of public relations for that to happen. And it does actually silence a lot of the rumours because there have been some absolute this way, some mad stuff on the Internet, but also some vile stuff too. Mm. Uh, and I uh, think Kensington Palace was a, a, a bit fed up with having to say it's ludicrous, it's ridiculous, it's nonsense. But if you have a vacuum in nature... Uh, nature abhors that vacuum, and in a news vacuum, it gets filled with rubbish. You know, there's a wonderful thing called the internet. There's a wonderful thing called social media. Why do human beings turn it into a cross between a cesspit and a piranha pool? But they do on a daily basis, uh, saying things which they wouldn't say to anybody's face or in decent company. And in the light of that, this is a very demonstrable way of showing that the Princess of Wales is alive and well and smiling and sitting in the front of a car. And also we've heard today from the MOD that on the 8th of June, which is three months and, and three days away, she will be at one of the two rehearsals for the Trooping of the Colour, the Sovereign's Birthday Parade, and she will be inspecting uh, the troops. She is, of course, Colonel-in-Chief of the Irish Guards, but I don't think she will be at the St. Patrick's Day Parade on the 17th of March, when traditionally the Colonel in Chief, it used to be the old Queen Mother, uh, gives out the, the uh, sprigs of uh, shamrock uh, to the Irish Guardsmen, and they all wear them in their hats very jolly. Mm. Yes, we're not expecting to see her until Easter at the earliest, but, uh, but I suppose it's, uh, it's a, a fortunate coincidence that perhaps this well, picture has it's made a... its way to the press, or, or to the American press, just as that rumour <laughs> reached, reached its crescendo. Yes, thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much. We're going to have to leave it there. Michael Cole, former royal correspondent for the BBC.